Today I'm going to teach you how to do a California patch because I got a hole in the wall. So here's the hole. First thing I got to do is cut it out square. It doesn't have to be exact. Just needs to be not a circle. Step one, done. Step two, you need a square of drywall that is close to the same size. So in this case, this is a little bit bigger than I need. So what I'm gonna do is hold it up here so that I have about an inch and a half here, about an inch and a half here. I can cut it down a bit. I could use this piece just as it is, but I wanna show you the steps I use. Let's see how it is this way. So that's quite a bit too big. Okay, about an inch and a half, inch and a half, cut. So this is just a quick way to do a patch in the wall. Very effective too. Okay, so there we are. The next step, flip it upside down. Now what you're gonna do, and I do this without a tape measure, without anything, I'm just gonna eyeball these lines right here. And I'm gonna go, not on the lines, but I'm gonna go a quarter inch in. It doesn't have to be quite that much, it could be an eighth of an inch in but you don't want to have to recut this whole thing so you're better to go a little more next what you're going to do is break it so from the back and very gently peel this off being very careful to not tear it off the front of the board you don't want to tear too far here Next, I hold it up like this, and I do the same thing for the top and bottom. A little bit in. I go roughly a quarter inch. Three sixteenths, seven thirty seconds, I don't know. Do whatever works. Then you break this off. Break that off. So there's my patch. Now this is annoying. I got a bunch of chunks of drywall right here. So I'm just gonna take my putty knife and shave this off. We can't have that like that. It won't help us at all. Okay, next, test fit it. Wonderful. Fits very nicely, nice and flat. So, the next part is very important. First, I'm going to put a bunch of mud here. When some people do this, this is the only step they do. I go an extra step to make sure that this doesn't fail because if you don't do this properly, you get blisters. Then nobody wants blisters. So here's the extra step that I do. I take the patch on the back side of it and I wipe mud in the corners because where you get a blister is in this little gap where there's no mud. So instead of trying to make it too tight, which you'll never get, what I do is I know that I'm gonna make it a little bit big and I fill this part with mud. And that way, there can never be a blister there. And it also makes the joint way stronger because you're gluing the sides of the patch together. So, there we have it. My mucky little California patch. Next, I'm gonna take my patch. I'm just gonna plunk that in there. And I'm just gonna kind of poke down on the corners and try, you don't wanna push it too far in. So I'm flushing it up with the existing wall by pushing on the corners. And now I'm going to start gently removing all this excess mud. Being sure to actually leave some under. If you take out all the mud, you take out the glue that's actually adhering this. And make sure there's no wrinkles, make sure it's looking all nice and flat. So, one could leave it at this stage. Now I'm gonna to push to make sure that it's where it's supposed to be. It's good, good, nice and flat. So this is a nice, flat, fairly flush patch. Now one could leave it and come back and do another coat. Now I'm a bit of a cowboy, and I'm gonna go get a bigger knife and put another coat on it right now. 
Because I've done this a lot and I know what I can get away with. there you have a California patch. I'm going to come back and I'm going to sand that when it's dry. It's still going to take two or three days for that to dry. I'm going to come back, I'm going to sand it, and I'm going to put one more coat over top of it. And that is going to be a strong, effective, and quick patch. So there was no backing, no screws, nothing. Just when you're a professional taper, you're not running around with screws and wood and all these things. What you've got is you've got a knife, maybe a chunk of drywall and some mud. So you gotta make do with what you have and this patch works. So I hope you found that useful. I hope you can do some awesome California patches. This is from a guy who's done a thousand of these and this is my fast effective method for a California patch. I hope it works. Thanks for watching.